Yeah, you did, yeah. yeah training. Um, with it, today's declining society and the fact Decline. that society in terms of what does it mean? So the behaviour of the youth nowadays okay. and um, like factors influencing their success in school. Uh -huh. It's becoming increasingly more difficult to say train the young mm. leaders of the future. So what would you advise to that? You said decline in society or decline in society? Decline in society. Decline in society. Decline in society. Why? We're discussing it in the car. You see? We have something called young Muslim in this country. Start 1984. Exactly the same year of Islamic Day. You know who killed it? The elders. And I'm recording this to the people who killed young Muslims in the late 90s and early 2000s. And they are responsible for the myth and the radicalism and the extremism of the youth of today. Those elders who are still in the leadership of the organization for the last 30 years or 40 years or 25 years killed this young Muslim movement. We record it. Okay. But we have to take the challenge of to face it. Yes, there is bad behavior in the youth. But what's my role as a leader? Patience is the cornerstone. Of, you have you seen uh, To Serve With Love? A movie in the sixth form, Sidney Poitier. Black guy came to East London or West London? East. It's very nice. Very nice movie. Go and see it. He was a black man at that time. But he took everything, or the hardship, to change, to convert his youth with wisdom, with compassion, with being considerate, with being wise was being patient, was being objectively looking at the future. The excellence in the future, looking at his future as other people. If you are a leader, you have to bend your back to the side. If you are a leader, actually the children will get, sometimes, they make a joke against you, or they kick me at my backside, when I'm standing, I'm, I'm making fool of you. But they have, a his love. They can, what, what's the problem? They can kick me, and they make fool of me. Because I come to people who need me, who need my help. You go to people who need your help. You go to people who don't need your help, they don't need you. They don't need you. They, they say a foul language to you. They, they, they stick something at, the, at my tail. Tell anybody going. They make a tail fight. This, we see, you show them, you show them the movie. That's right? You show them the movie. You are there to take them by the hand, to guide them. And your, your mission here is a part of the mission of the prophethood. From Adam السلام, up to Muhammad <coughs> So here, you should control your net, be cool, and smile, and contain your anger, you know, scream, and engage them in activity. At this age, the thing which makes them busy is sport. Sport. Let them keep running all the day. Then they and they go sleep. When you take to the camp, don't, don't over lecture them. Okay, give them small doses of lecture and remind them. But actually, the most of the day, Climbing mountains, uh, running, uh, jogging, football, till they become tired. Because they have, uh, uh, what do you call it, energy which is, you cannot contain. You have to utilize, them to utilize it. If they do not utilize that in a sport, they will utilize it in you. <laughs> Swearing. But I was the young Muslim as, 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 as a, as a, not as a teacher, as some, as some, some of the Muslims. And I know that. We used to have some nice things in the end, at night, after 10 o'clock. Late night show is, uh, with me, it was a, a, a TV program. And the host told me, we'd like to have a late night show with you, you do anything. We used to put them in the grave, we used to make a fire of hell. I was in the middle of it, like this semicircle. Okay, fire, fire and to go and clean the snow 
I come at night, go and actually press up uh, before Fajr at uh, what camp, not camp, yeah, this uh, uh, knowledge, what is knowledge? Knowledge. Uh, yeah, knowledge. Yeah. Uh, what do you do? Football. And there was from 5 o'clock in the morning till about 10 o'clock in the evening, non stop activity. And you go, ah, then you go to the fire, but, oh my god, it's too much. You are young, you are strong, wake up. One of them came back and he's one of the top teachers now, the man, as they call him, said, Let me have a flu, can we do the program in the, uh, inside? I said, okay, fine, sir, you can't come outside, I'm going outside. You stayed behind. You were the only one who stayed behind. All the girls and boys came out. The snowing, windy, and notch on the sea. After five for nearly an hour or an hour. And we came back, ah, hungry, not for the food, and for more activity. Keep your, keep your, what's wrong? Keep your followers busy by your program. Because if you don't make a program for them, they make the program for you. And they can make you mad. You know why? Because each one of them has a program. You have one program to lead them to it. Otherwise, you have 100 programs from 100 people in the world. And this is the leadership. Thank you, sir.